Welcome to my world. 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 This is what I see. I'm Suzanne Ridgeway and welcome to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for dropping by and checking me out and clicking on my link. I have here the ingredients to a classic 80s casserole. This is the hot dog and tater tot casserole with ground beef. You can use any kind of ground beef that you have. I have hot dogs by Bar S. I have tater tots, a can of cream, a mushroom soup, some Velveeta cheese, a half an onion already diced, garlic, salt, black pepper, and about a cup and a half of mixed vegetables. We're going to throw together this casserole in the Dutch oven and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do. If you're new, look for that subscribe button and smash on it for a great five ingredient or less recipes, sometimes a little more. Check out our Cook With Me playlist linked down below and all other playlists. We're going to get started by getting the beef browned up in the, the Dutch oven. We're going to get the Dutch oven onto the stovetop. I have it set to medium heat. I'm going to add a little bit of oil. You can use extra virgin if you have it. Then I'm going to add in a splash of garlic salt and black pepper. We're going to put the ground beef in. It is important in today's world to meal plan. And it's also important to inventory your food and know what you have. Then you can meal plan from your pantry shelves and reduce your food bill and not have to go to the grocery store all the time. You want to go once a week, maybe every other week, or even once a month if you can, just to reduce your spending. Adding in the oil first. About a tablespoon. And just drizzle it so it coats the entire bottom of the Dutch oven. Gonna get that ground beef going. Not everybody's favorite, but it's a good budget friendly option with everything expensive. This is only eight ounces, depending on your family size, is how many packages you'll need. Since I'm adding a pound of hot dog, I am not going to be adding any more than eight ounces of beef. I'm going to let them sit on the pan and lower your heat a little bit. I'm going to mash it up and then add in the onion. This isn't from China. It doesn't have any weird animal parts in it. It's just a lower cut of beef. Read the labels before you make judgment. And it breaks apart very easily. I use this in a lot of different casseroles and beef dishes. I'm going to let this cook for about a minute before we throw on the onion. And first you're going to add in a splash of black pepper and garlic salt, about a teaspoon. Whenever you're cooking with oils, add a splash of salt, which I hadn't done. I just put in a teaspoon of regular table salt before I did my garlic salt, black pepper. And that will keep your oils from splattering up in your face. Beef is browning nicely, so we can go ahead and add the onion in. I've roughly chopped a diced cut. There are so many great casseroles available on the internet. This was a favorite as a child. They even have a mac and cheese casserole with hot dogs and beef. Some 
They smell really good. For cheese, I have two packs of the Velveeta that I pick up at Dollar Tree. And Dollar Tree has been carrying the Campbell's Cream of Mushroom Soup. That is 10.5 ounces. The brick of cheese at Walmart is very expensive. So I've only been buying the packets because I don't use it that often. And that way I know it's going to stay fresh because it's sealed. I'm going to add some vegetables to this dish. These are peas and carrots. Mixed vegetables with green beans and corn. You can find them at the Dollar Tree. Most freezer departments at the Dollar Tree have them unless they're sold out. You get 12 ounces there by TJ Farms. Before we add in the hot dog, we're going to just mix the mixed vegetables a little bit with the beef and the onion. That was about a cup and a half of mixed vegetables. Go ahead and dump in your hot dog. This is one package of hot dogs They're by Bar F's, and I went ahead and cut them into like a nickel sized piece. I did a Campbell's tomato soup casserole. It was grilled cheese with tomato soup. That was really, really good. That is in the Cook With Me playlist from about a year ago. Gonna add in your cream soup. mix that up. Now we're going to add the tater tots and then the cheese. Our tree has a decent selection of potatoes available. This is the extra crispy. It is 12 ounces of the tater tots. I'm going to add about a quarter cup of water. You never want to dilute your soup with a casserole. This Dutch oven comes clean every single time. I'm going to add the water around the rim of the Dutch oven. About a quarter of a cup. And just mix it a little bit. We've got the Velveeta cheeses. These are great. I don't really show them in my empties videos because they don't clean very easily to keep them on the back porch. They are featured in a lot of Dollar Tree hauls. They have a jalapeno one, so please be aware if you don't like spicy. So two things of the Velveeta cheese. I store our recycles on the back porch because I have to go downstairs every time we throw things out. So I take the garbage out probably every other day depending on as needed and our cycles go out a couple times a week because they get cleaned up and go to the back porch until then. Make sure you combine everything and mix it well. And you're gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes on low heat in your Dutch oven. You want the beef to be done nice and brown and the hot dogs are fully cooked. And the tater tots should be able to break easily with a fork. We do giveaways every 100 subscribers. 
If you're interested, you need to comment in order to qualify. Please be kind. You need to be subscribed to United States residents. We're not responsible. Lost or stolen prizes by mail. The rules to the giveaways are listed down below. We're still looking for three people to give out a five item spice pack from Dollar Tree value at six twenty five, or your choice of a gift card. Same rules apply. Going to cover it for about twenty five minutes, and we'll come back and look at it. We have a newsletter. You can email me countryboots twelve sixty eight at yahoo.com if you're interested. Our social sites are linked down below with all of our playlists. Let's go ahead and check on it because I'm going to add a little bit more of the seasoning because I only added it in a teaspoon. So a couple more teaspoons of garlic, salt, black pepper. I'm going to cover once more. And then we'll check on it and then we'll try some. You can hear it gurgling so we're going to take a peek in it. Look at how beautiful this looks. Yum. Nice, cheesy, ground beef tater tot casserole. Perfect for cold days. And a cream soup made it nice and creamy and thick. We're going to try some. Grab yourself a serving spoon and a bowl. This is going to feed four. Don't worry about your Dutch oven, especially the Pioneer one comes clean every time. There are some videos in Clean With Me playlist of me cleaning that after a messy meal and it came out perfect. Here's a close up of the bowl. Now we're going to give this a try. I love trying these casseroles. I probably haven't had this since the 80s and I'm very excited. This could be child friendly too, especially if your kid loves hot dogs and cheese. I'm going to give it a try. Mmm, that is really good. I haven't had it since I was a kid. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and cooking with me in my kitchen today. Wonderful 80s classic pantry friendly meal idea. A few ingredients that you can throw together in minutes to feed a family of four with leftovers. We want to stretch that dollar further, give you more bang for your buck, save you money, and being frugal and budget friendly. Go look in your pantries and see what you have to meal plan with first before you run to the supermarket. And if you think you're out of something, Google a substitute. Don't forget about the giveaways. All the information is listed down below. I will put in everything you need to know to make this great 80s classic casserole. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you from the bottom of my family's heart. Have a fantastic day.